Hey guys, I just got done filming the backside of the first page and you guys are telling me that you really like seeing the finished product before we get started. So I'm going to show you uh, what we are about to make. So if you're interested and want to see what we're about to make, then you just stay tuned. Um, this is the finished product. This is the backside. So this is the uh, Everlasting Bundle mini album um, that we're doing. This is the last one we're making. So this is the back side of that page. And so there's the belly band. It flips up. First of all, look at that cluster. Isn't that cute? Okay. So there's a belly band that flips up and flips down. Then there is an envelope that goes right there. And then there's two fold down flaps. So that's what we're getting ready to make. So if you want to see how I made this, then stay tuned. Okay, so here we go. We are going to be making the backside of the first page of the Everlasting Bundle mini album that we're making where we're combining the Everlasting and the mini Everlasting together. So this was the front side of the first page that we made and I really like it. I really like the way it turned out. So we're going to do the back side. We're going to do this side. You know what I'm going to do though? Just so that I remember, I'm going to... <laughs> Put me a little post-it note here so that I remember that this is the, where's my pencil? I just had it. Oh, that this is the spine because when I put the last one together, when we did the mini everlasting, I put the pages on the wrong way. Well, not the wrong way, but I kind of like did it differently than what I had planned. And so this way, maybe it'll help me uh, stay straight on what I'm doing. <laughs> so... I'm going to do that um, just to keep myself, maybe I don't have to, uh, yeah, I'm going to do that just to keep myself uh, straight. So it just says spine there. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to set this aside and then um, I'm going to show you the things that I've picked out real quick. Okay, so what we're going to need this time is we're going to need page number three in the Everlasting, which I printed the wood background design and this uh, color here is number five from my muted backgrounds and I will link everything below I'll link the templates I'll link the um, muted backgrounds the build embellishments the the uh, videos you know there's a whole playlist of everlasting videos so it goes from beginning to end so I'll link that playlist below and anything else that I may mention um, any products that I use I will link that in the description box below Okay, so I printed the color background first, and then I printed page number uh, three from the Everlasting onto it with the wood background. So it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Kind of looks like a stained wood. I mean, I didn't do that on purpose when I made these backgrounds. I didn't do that on purpose, but it worked out perfectly. So yay. <laughs> and then we're going to be using the belly band from... When we made this page, the pocket had a belly band on it, so we're going to use the belly band. And then, um, this is some of the scrapbook paper. This is the Zella Teal paper line. This was a 12 by 12 that I cut down to 8.5 by 11 for my printer size. Um, this is page number two, so you're going to need one of these. And I didn't use the wood background, I just uh, plain, uh, printed it plain. And I'm using the grayscale for um, all of the templates when I'm printing them out. And then here is, we're going to be using this scrap. This is when I cut this pattern paper down. But we're going to be using it to mat, I think, the back of the belly band. So that's what that's for. And then for the mini part of this one, we are going to be, let me find it. We're going to be using page number 10 in the mini and I printed it onto the uh, patterned paper, the patterned cardstock, the Zella Teal. So we're going to be using that and then we're going to be using page number eight, which is this one. This is the other part of the envelope and this is that gray um, Recollections craft cardstock. So I printed that, uh, the wood pattern onto the gray cardstock. And then this piece here is from the 6x6 paper pad of the Zella Teal. This is going to be the insert for this envelope. So those are the pieces that I have uh, pulled out for right now. I'm thinking that's what we're going to be using. Okay, so remember how I told you I'm not really going to go through 
um, all of the cutting and all of that. We're not going to go step by step by step on the, the specifics of how to put things together. Um, like for example, this one, you just cut it out all the way around. And the only time I will show you the cutting is when we have to do it just slightly different. Um, if that makes sense. And the reason I'm doing that is because I was so detailed in the videos before. So you could pick probably any video in this uh, playlist and you will find this, the way to put, you know, cut things out and put them together. So this one we're going to be cutting out entirely. And then, um, let's save the mini part for a minute. And then this one and this one, I'm thinking what I'm going to do with this belly band is I'm going to mat it. So I'm going to hang off, hang off on that one for just a second. But this one I do want to talk to you guys about. I do want to show you what I'm going to be doing with this. So I'm going to get my Fiskars uh, Precision um, paper trimmer out here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that off and I'm going to cut both of these side tabs off like this and so what we're going to be doing with this is we're going to make um, two flip pages so now I'm going to cut it in half and I think I think I think I think I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to guess probably what I'm going to do. <laughs> so half of this page is going to be like four and three eighths, I think. So I'm just going to cut it like that. So now I've got these two separate pages and I'm not going to notch the corners, but I am going to score both of these lines. So I'm going to cut, let's see, I'm still debating on this. I think I am going to mat this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut these out fully and I'm going to cut these out and then I will be right back. Okay, so I got everything cut out and I was just sitting here inking it. By the way, this is the ink that I'm using. It's Distress Oxide Black Soot. Uh, Ranger and Tim Holtz and this is a Ranger blending tool um, I was just sitting here thinking in my last video someone asked someone left a comment and said why do you have to ink the edges so I thought I would go ahead and answer that here you don't have to that's the short answer you do not have to ink the edges at all it's a personal preference I like to ink my edges because I feel like it's a more of a finished look versus um, not inking them only because a lot of times when you cut cardstock there'll be a white edge and I like the more vintage um, distressed look you know and I think that when you ink the edges it just gives it a little bit of a finished more professional um, look to it so that's why I ink my edges so it's a complete personal preference so if you don't want to ink your edges then don't ink your edges that's you know it's it's just as simple as that so this this page here is going to attach to the back side of this page so it's going to be back here like this but before we attach it um, i want to do some stuff to it first so this is going to be a belly band right it's going to go here like that except it's going to go the other way and then these two pieces are going to be some flip downs that are going to be underneath here like that so I'm thinking, I think, I think I need to go ahead and first I need to do the mats for this. That's what I'm going to do first. So let me grab my book. This is my workbook. There is a video on how I put this together. So this was on page, this is on page eight. So the mats for these are on page 29. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these. I thought about just doing it, you know, just gluing it together um, and it having been flush to the edge, but I changed my mind. I decided I didn't want to do that. So, so what I'm going to do, I think, is when this is flipped down, well, this one doesn't matter because it's going to be the same either way. So then when this is flipped up like this, 
I want the pattern to be the right side up. Does that make sense? So I'm just going to lay this on here upside down and I'm going to trace it out. Um, lost my pencil again. I'm just going to trace it out with my pencil. Didn't do a very good job. And then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to lay it on here. I'm just going to butt it right up to that line. Like that. And then I'm going to cut these out. I'm just going to use my scissors. I'm going to go ahead and cut these out and then I'm going to ink them up. And then I will be back. Alright, so I've got those inked up and ready to go. So now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the template for the insert. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, a template for the insert that's going to go in this envelope here. And if I can find it. Where's it at? Matt for the main bait. Well, where did it go? Oh, here it is. <laughs> right here. It is on page 25, so, um, I'm sorry, it's not on page 25. This is page 11. I'm not going to use the mat for it, but I did print off the actual page itself and cut it out, and we're going to use that as a template. So this is what's going to go inside my envelope that I'm getting ready to make here, and it's, it's just really a square, so it's, or, I mean, a rectangle, so not a big deal. Um... So I'm going to trace this out and cut it out, ink it up, and all of that so it'll be ready. I'm going to ink it up on both sides because you'll see both sides when you pull the tag out. So there's that. So then I did want to tell you um, what I'm going to be doing here. Well, obviously, um, we're going to be using the bottom part. This is the envelope part two on page eight. This is printed on gray cardstock. All right. Okay, so I am going to separate these bows from this uh, insert right here because I'm keeping all the bows as with the embellishments and then I'm keeping other elements. I better write that on here. This is page eight. Um, and I'm keeping the other elements that I can use throughout the different pages with my scrapbooking paper choices. So that's another little organizing tip for you guys. So I'm going to put these with all of my embellishments because so I'm not going to use them right now. So I'm going to be cutting this out fully. I'm going to be leaving all of the tabs on this one and I will score it all the way around and then I'll, um, I'll come back and show you that. And then on this one, let me get my paper trimmer out. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all this excess off at top here. Let's see if I can cut it straight. I'm going to put that with all of my scrap papers. And then I don't need any of the tabs that are on this envelope. Because remember, this envelope was designed to be attached to a page. And then um, you attach this part to it. So it's like a pocket. And then you attach this whole envelope to a page with these tabs. But this is going to be a floating, a free floating envelope. So I'm going to go ahead and trim all of these tabs off and I'm going to trim this little fancy edge out and I'm going to score everything I'm going to ink everything and then I'll be back okay <laughs> I've got these ready so I'm thinking what I'm going to do you guys I'm going to put this envelope together I'm going to do that so I'm taking some sequin score tape and I'm going to put it on all three of these tabs, these are Tim Holtz tonic scissors. And this last one here. People ask me all the time, why do I tell you every time what I'm using? And it's because I get asked all the time, what are you using and where do I get it? <laughs> so I'm sorry if I annoy some of you, but others of you really do appreciate me saying it out loud over and over and over and over. <laughs> But anyways, um, 
So I'm just going to tack this bottom of it down to this, uh, the two side flaps, right? And then I'm going to take the backing off and I'm going to use uh, the glue stick trick. Just using a cheapy old glue stick from Hobby Lobby. Just to give me a minute to mess around. To mess around. If I can find a place to stick it back. To position it, you know, without it getting, because this score tape, that stuff is like, it sticks quick and permanent and it's awesome, but it doesn't give you any wiggle room, you know? So I'm just going to go ahead and stick that down. I'm going to take my bone folder. This is a Teflon bone folder. All of these products are linked in my Amazon list. I have a special uh, Amazon uh, influencer page that has my name on it. So that's linked in the description box below if you want to check them out. Okay, so it's going to look like that. Doesn't that look cool? The only thing I did, which I wasn't even paying attention to when I picked the paper out, was um, when you flip it this way, everything's by, upside down. But I'm thinking maybe I could do some embellishing and kind of disguise that a little bit. But anyways, so, oop, oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to cut out my insert. Goodness, let's do that real quick. No big deal. Let's anchor up. Um, something funny happened to me last weekend. Somebody, one of my uh, subscribers recognized me out somewhere where I would have never thought I would have run into <laughs> a YouTube subscriber. And it was so funny because she was taking pictures of something that my mom was actually doing and uh, I kind of got in her way and I was like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get in your way. And she said, that's okay, I'm used to photoshopping people out. Well then a few minutes later, she's standing next to me and she goes, what are you doing out of your craft room? <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> it was the funniest thing because it, it took me a minute to realize what she was saying. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> She's like, I own everything that you've ever put out. It's so awesome. And yeah, she was really sweet. So if you're watching, you know who you are. That was really cool that you actually said hi to me. <laughs> so out in public. All right, so there's the insert. So it goes like that. And you know what I'm thinking about doing? I'm thinking about, let's see, where's my color schemes here? So that's basically, and then the green. The uh, teal color, I mean. So, I'm thinking about putting, or should I do the punchy thing? I'm sorry about my phone. I don't, I thought I had it on silent. I guess I don't have the right silent button. Let's try using my punchy thing. Yep, and I'm saying punchy thing. <laughs> I'll show you in just a sec. So, here's some of my scraps. You really don't need a big piece. But those are those are the kind of pieces I like to use. I wonder if I could would pink be too odd because there's no pink. Well, let's do it anyway. Who cares if it's odd? Let's use this pink strip here. So this is a We Are Memory Keepers. I found the package. I was looking for it the other day and I couldn't find it, but I found it. And did I lose it again? Did I lose it again? Really? Oh, here it is. <laughs> This is the package right here. It's a We Are Memory Keepers and it's a whole reinforcer punch. So again, it's a little smaller than your regular um, whole reinforcements, but I, I kind of like the idea. The only thing I don't like is I can't see where I'm punching. So that's kind of a drawback. Let's see how I did here. Oh, did not do well. <laughs> Look. <laughs> I didn't do very well. Do you see? You see how it's uh, half white, half pink? All right, let's try that again. Maybe not go so far in. Okay, so that's a kind of a bummer. Well, that's a little better, but still, I got a tiny bit of white. But we'll use it. We'll take it. Let's do two. Well, I use the white one on the back side. How about that? That way it's not wasted. Where's that scrap I just had? This one. I'm gonna stick this in here. I'm trying to be organized with all my scraps so that they're that I, you know, when I want to find something, I need a scrap for something. They're easy to find instead of trying to rummage through a pile. 
Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ink these little edges up real quick. The only thing I don't like about this is that you, um, it's not, doesn't have a sticky back. So that's kind of a drawback too, but let's see if we can work around that just by using some glue. So I'm not sure how handy that little thing's gonna be in the long run, but I wanna give it a good, a good try. So I'm gonna use, this is art glitter glue, but you can use whatever wet glue that you have. Um, I got this from May May. May May sent this to me, but I don't think you can get it in the cold months. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick this here. Just because, you know, I really am enjoying all these little added details. I really think they make a difference in your finished product. So let me see if I can. This is just a regular office hole punch. No big deal. So it's the same size hole in the middle. It's just not as big um, in diameter. I think I'm saying that right. All right, let's put this one on the back side here. Okay, all right. So then I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm gonna need some, I'm gonna need some baker's twine, you know. This is a piece of black baker's twine that I just had sitting over here, so I'm gonna use it. Let's see what it looks like. Maybe not so much. Just for a little added detail. Okay, so that's ready. And the reason I'm not putting this on yet is because I'm going to be adding magnets to the belly band. And the belly band is going to have to wrap around things. So I don't want to add that just yet. But I do want to add these. So I'm thinking about, actually, I'm going to tear this edge. I'm just going to tear, even though I've already inked it, I'm going to tear it. I'm gonna, I like the way that, that looks. You can't see it yet because it's not ink. But let me ink it and you'll see what I'm talking about. So when it's up next to that one, it's gonna look like that. So it makes me wonder, should I tear the other one too or leave it? I think I'll leave the other one as is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add score tape to this piece and this piece and I'm gonna I'm gonna use the bigger one and remember I didn't cut I didn't cut I didn't notch the um, corners so that's very important it just looks neater I think all right so I'm gonna go ahead and brush this down real quick so this one, I'm gonna put on this one first. Oops, wrong. I got my little stylus set and I put a little piece of uh, fabric washi tape on the one that's got the pointy end so that I grab the right one when I go to get it and it never fails. It seems like I always grab the wrong one anyway. <laughs> okay. I am gonna use a little bit of glue stick just to give me a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up at the bottom. I need to decide which one's the top and which one's the bottom. I mean, it doesn't matter, but I'm going to, I think I'm going to leave it like that. Okay, so I'm going to line this up with the bottom edge here. All the way across. Lovely. Just like that. And then I'm going to take this one, take this backing off, a little bit of glue stick, like that. And then I'm going to butt it right up next to that half inch edge there. And hopefully, I get it on there correct. Like that. And open that up. Squish it down. I wonder, should I use? 
Should I add that on there? What do you guys think? I think I will. Why not? I just ripped it off. I might as well use it for something. All right, so then I'm just gonna use my Fabri-Tac, I think. This is Fabri-Tac by Beacon. Here we go. So I'm just gonna flip it over. I'm just gonna run a little line of glue there. And I'm going to, where am I gonna put this? I'm gonna put it right here. Right, it's just like a little added detail that I think makes it look pretty cool. Oops, I just got it crooked. Okay, so here's where we're at. So these are gonna fold down. Looking pretty cool so far, isn't it? So these are gonna fold down. Well, this piece here, this is kinda cool. So here's what we're gonna do with this piece. Um, where's my, I thought I had them sitting out here. Where'd they go? Oh, here we go. This is the index clips I showed you um, a few videos back. I'm going to get one of these out, maybe. I need to put these in like a little jar. I like my little jars better than these packages. So, what I'm going to do, and y'all are going to think I am crazy. First, I'm going to stick this on here kind of at an angle. And you know, these are kind of tight, I've noticed. So, I think I'm just gonna take my scissors. Maybe not, maybe not that pair. What, what could I use, what could I use? I'm trying not to poke myself. <laughs> I'm just gonna open it up just a little bit more. Just so it's not so tight. So anyway, I'm thinking, here's what I'm thinking. See that, that's much better. I'm thinking something like this. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark where I just place this down where the clip is, right? You're probably not gonna be able to see it very well. There it is right there. So I marked that and then I'm gonna grab something. Oh, here it is. I'm just gonna grab my Scorepal cutting mat, and I'm going to take the uh, pin blade, razor blade thingy me bob, and I'm just going to make a slice right there. So then I'm going to take this clip, and I'm going to take this side, not this side. Come focus, camera. Come on. There we go. I'm not going to take this side, but I'm going to take the longer side, that side, and I'm going to poke it through that hole. So now I have a clip that's inside that page. So there it is sticking out on the back side, right? So now I want to try to flatten that out. Now that we've got that in there. So here's what's going to happen. So I've got that clip there. So this is going to go under there and it's going to hold these two flaps down. Is that making sense? Really give this a good burnish. I hope I'm making sense. All right, let me put this up. It's just a fun, cool way um, to add a little metal embellishment, right? I think it's cute. Okay, so then now let's talk about, I'm not gonna add the mats to these yet, but I am going to, I'm gonna go ahead and add the belly band. So it's gonna look like this. So this is another good reason why you, you know, doing it front page first and back page second is you can attach these things behind the page, especially when you're printing directly onto your paper. Um, it just makes for a cleaner look. So what I'm gonna do for both of these, I'm gonna flip them over to the side and I'm gonna put score tape on the white side. I'm gonna put score tape on both pieces. this this piece has a little bit of a 
All right, so I'm gonna start with the, the top here. And I'm gonna kind of, y'all know I'm not gonna be able to get this in the middle. You know, no matter how hard I try, I just can't. I mean, even if I use a ruler, I just can't seem. See, there's like a whole quarter of an inch off and it looked like it was the middle to me. <laughs> Two and an eighth, that's close. Okay, right there. And it's still probably not the middle, okay? I'm just saying. Okay, so then the next piece, take the tape off of it. So since we've got all those pieces in there, we know what thickness is gonna be round about. So I should be able to line this up perfectly like this. And then fold that under like that. Did I do a bad job? What did I do here? Um, I might have. Maybe just a little. <laughs> That's okay. All right, so then the next thing I want to do is I'm going to put a magnet here and a magnet here to keep this closed. And then we'll mat it, okay? So what magnets am I using? I'm using these dudes right here. Let me show you the package. They're these super magnets. Um, I get them at Home Depot, but this is the new packaging. I just wanted to show y'all they're the same thing, but I get mine at Home Depot. I have looked online for these. This size, I cannot find online. So Home Depot is the only place I've been able to find them. You can, of course, use your basic gray magnet discs. These are a little thinner, but they are becoming harder and harder and harder to find. Um, but I do have some. I'm just going to use these for now. Okay, so I'm going to need two magnets. Oh, let me move the extremely strong magnet. And they are. They're, they're really heavy duty strong. That is not a lie. Okay, so the first one I'm going to do, I'm going to do this one. I mean, I've got a good two inches of room there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of score tape. I'm just going to put a piece on the back side of here. Oh, look, it attached to my scissors. And then I'm going to put that down in the middle, best I can. And then I'm going to go ahead and mat this with the piece that I, you know, traced out. I'm going to put it on the side. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and mat this just like that. That way we can hide that magnet and we can keep it closed all at the same time. So there's that, so it's going to close like this. So then, where's that other magnet? Oh, here it is. So I'm just going to actually just lay this down underneath here. Oh! <laughs> That's what I wanted to do, but I wanted to do it... Actually, before I do that, I'm going to put a piece of tape on the magnet. Oh, I don't even know if that's the right way. Hang on. you got to make sure that it's going to actually stick. Here we go. Instead of pushing it apart, it'll stick together. Okay, I'm going to put that. On the back of there. Come on, let go of me. Let go of me. Alright, so now what I want to do is I want to... There we go. Did you hear it kind of click? Kind of grab it? So let me push that really good. And so now it's stuck down. Yay! All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and mat this piece. You don't have to use wet glue with this stuff either. You could use tape runners, or you can use your score tape or whatever. Use whatever adhesive you enjoy using the most. So 
So that's probably not going to, since it's literally right there, it's probably not going to hold down right there. But again, that's okay. Not concerned. So then we have this. Okay, so I've pulled my embellishments over here, the small box with the flowers and stuff, because I'm thinking I want to do like a, like flowers and whatnot, like right here. And maybe some of these um, embellishments. So I was thinking about trying to use like a, one of the bigger flowers here. And you know, I could maybe even, depends on what kind of arrangement I get, but I could maybe even do like, it looks like it's like a, like it's all connected, but it's not because this one would be on the envelope. Let me see if I can scoot in a little bit. How about that? Does that look good? All right, I got you a little closer. Um, I think it might be fun to maybe do something like that to where it looks like it's cascading down. Does that make sense? So I'm, I'm wondering if I need to open some more flowers. Let's see. These are just too thick, although those little ones are really pretty. I've got these and I've got these. Those are too thick. And I got these, but I'm not really feeling the whole pearly look. What's your all's thoughts on that? I'm not really feeling it with this album. I don't know. I'm going to wait on those. So I guess I'll go ahead and open these other packages. Why not? Since I've got some already in there. There's those butterflies too. Remember the butterflies? I think I kept calling them flowers. So let's just let's just dump stuff out. And I'll save the plastic bags. I don't know if they'll make it back into the proper plastic bags, but that's okay too. They'll all be with the same collection, so it'll be fine. Alright. So we could even, we could even, um, see, I think that one would clash maybe a little, maybe. You know, we could even incorporate some of the flowers down here. You know what I'm saying? To the flap. Let me, let me give it some thought, you guys. Those are cute too, but I don't think I'll use them on this page. So I don't have to, um... See that would just be cute. Oh, maybe they've got some smaller ones over here. Ooh, that one doesn't have anything in the center, but it's small, I like that. Okay, see I was looking for some smaller, smaller ones. This doesn't quite go with this page. With these grays and stuff might. Okay, I'm gonna play with some of this. Not that one, that one matches too perfectly. Hmm. You can probably see it. Maybe I need a green one. Ooh, here's a white one. No, maybe that green's good. No, it kinda crashes. <laughs> okay, so. I'm thinking I'm going to add some of the build embellishment elements here as well. And I'm thinking I want to add some pink, but that might be too much pink. But this one might be cute. Adding this here under the flower somehow like that. All right, and then maybe another little element. No. Those are too big. Maybe this, maybe this little receipt that I tried to use in the front, the front of the page. Maybe add that in there, just for something, something, just for interest. I like it. Let me grab some Baker's Tron too. It might be fun to kind of have it like as a pull. Maybe just a little bit like 
this, like kind of a hey, pull here <laughs> kind of situation. I like it. I'm just gonna start gluing stuff down. I think that first I'm gonna first I'm gonna ink these two. I'm gonna ink them up real quick. And I'm gonna glue them down so they're I'm just gonna ink the one side. These would be a great place to put dates and some little bit of info on there. I think that would be cute. So let's just, I'm just going to start gluing stuff down. Because the great thing about using the Fabri-Tac <clears throat> is it does give you time to move stuff around. So, oh, you know what? I might want to, what if these hang over a little bit? I might want to just, just real quick. Just in case. I don't think that one will, but just in case. So, I'm just, I think I'm going to just put a blob in the middle here. That way I've got time to move it if I need to. And, ah, la, okay, I did it. Same with this. Put that on the side. I think I'm going to stick a glove glue right there. So I really do like this idea of a pull. So, like that maybe. And then I'm going to glue this flower down. Like. Yeah. I like it. Okay. 
Okay, so there's a rat so far. What do you think? I like it. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's find, where's my little thing, crystal stickers? Little crystals, let's put some crystals on these. Um, I think these gray ones need these, like, bluish color ones. Ooh, glue is seeping out there. That is okay. Over here. All right, so I know everything's still wet, so I'm going to be careful. But so when it opens up, opens up like that. See how they can see some of that underneath there, and that's fine. Let me put my lid on my glue. Turn it on its side for a minute. And send that, so there's so there's some embellishing on there, which is cool. And then that folds down. And then the envelope only has two things on it. So what that means is it needs something else. Yes, it does. It needs something else. Let's see. The puppy stickers are pretty. I love that feather. But um, so we got the puppy stickers. I'm not going to use the rubber shapes because I still feel like it's just too dark for this page. So I'm not going to get those out. I've got these chipboard stickers. Um, it might. Let's have a look see. Um. And there's these stickers. There's a, one sticker on here in particular that I think is just beautiful. It's hard to see on camera, but it looks almost 3D. And it's this one right here. So I'm not going to use that one right now. I think it says sing and dance, but that is the most beautiful sticker. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that one for now. But I uh, feel like that might, that might stay by itself just because I think it's kind of cute, but I feel like we need some more happening up here. So I've got those stickers. All right, and my chipboard, I mean my uh, die cuts. Let's see what we got here. Why can't I make up my mind, you guys? Why, why? All right. Okay, see, here's where you're overthinking. This is what happens when you overthink. I'm not even sure if I'm still talking to you guys. Not really. <laughs> I'm overthinking. You're overthinking. Just pick something. I think I like this the best on here. Let's see what that looks like. I'm going to do this one the best. Oh, I still need to glue that, that down. Okay. I like it. Dab a glue on there. Check 
that in there in just a little. Oops, we're covering up the best. Alright, and then, and then, and then. I'm gonna get, whoa, did one of them fly? Yep. That one wants to be on my scrapbook page, I think. So I'm gonna stick one of these on there. Right at the end of that little banner, I probably should have used the smaller one. So maybe I can use the big one and then a small one. No, I'm gonna use what I do with the I'm going to use one of these. Oh, come on. Okay. <laughs> Let's see how that looks. It looks pretty good. I like it. So, you, oh, it's not dry yet. <laughs> No pool on it, it's not dry. Okay. I know it's hard to see. So then there's the envelope that has a little bit of embellishing on it. And then there's that piece there. So shouldn't I put something here? I think I should. Or maybe not. Maybe I should leave it. Oh, I feel like I feel like I need to do something to break this up. What do you guys think? Let me set the envelope aside. So it's gonna need to be flat. Er. So maybe we'll use maybe we'll use some of the printable build embellishments. Let's see what we got. Okay. Yeah, like that's just too much of that flower pattern. Do you know what I'm saying? I think you do. So I maybe stick. I'm sure I stick it down here like this. No, that's a black there. Um. Do you guys do this? Do you guys sit here and go um um? I do. I do. I do. Oh, we could do that idea too. We have this on there, like that. Okay, so remember, this is gonna be this is gonna be um this is the spine and this is the where the <laughs> side pocket insert goes into. So keep that in mind. So let me insert that and see what it looks like. Do that. Yeah, maybe some gray vapors, huh? I'm not sure what the Nana Clubs has to do with anything, but it's cute. Love your smile. That's cute. Alright, I can't use everything that I think is cute on the first page. Now can I? We've got these two Polaroid looking things. They actually punch out. Oh, be careful. So you actually get two, it's like two Polaroids in one. So those two come apart too, so that's another Polaroid if you wanted to use it like that. Oh, this might be too big. So I was thinking of something like this. Yeah, that's too big. That's too big. Who wants to try a smaller one? No. Yeah. I can't decide if I want to leave that in there. Should we? Should we? And it's another thing. One more thing. Maybe a nice flower. I like it. I like it. I'm going to ink this dye 
back right here. Do I leave that love in there or not? I feel like it's really cute. I can always stick it back in there, can I? Yeah, I think we're gonna have to have it in there. I like it. Let's do it. Okay. I'm gonna attach this. And, whoops. I'm gonna put a little dab of glue. I can always add some. That is way too much glue. Get a little sloppy with my glue. That's cute. That's cute, you guys. So I'm thinking that that's all we're gonna do for the embellishing. I think we'll leave this, because the envelope is supposed to be here. Well, it's, it's, it is once it's all closed. But I think we'll leave it, so you can just put a full photo. I don't know, I'm still debating. We can always add stuff later, right? All right, so I took a minute to clean up. So what I'm, I'm gonna leave that like that because I think it's cute. I'm gonna leave it just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this back together. And then we are going to, is that in the right spot? Then we are gonna uh, assemble this page. So there's what we got. That is what we got. Isn't it adorable? I love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so now we're gonna attach it to the backside of this page. Oh, you know what, but first, I'm gonna take, I think, I haven't decided. Well, we'll wait and see. I was thinking about putting a piece of tape there, but I'm gonna wait. So we're gonna flip this over to the backside, and I'm gonna remove the backing off of one side here. My battery's getting ready to die. I need to um, make sure I pay attention to that. We on the right side up? Yes, we are. So I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna line it up on the edge that the insert's gonna be coming out of. Press it down all the way down. Good, and then we'll flip it open. Take the backing off of this piece. And then we're gonna flip this over. Well, maybe we'll flip it this way. I think it's easier. And we're going to match this up best we can and smoosh it down. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. I love it. This looks so good. All right, so there we go. Now we have it attached and there's my little post-it note. That's the spine, so it's gonna go like this. Right? So cute, I love it. Okay, so I think we're gonna stop here on this one. I really like the way it turned out. I'm kind of feeling like maybe we should put a flower or two up here, but for right now, I think we're just gonna leave it um, and see, because this will be the spine. So I think we're just gonna leave it and see. So that's what we got. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, go ahead and hit this little circle right there. And uh, be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you subscribe to my channel or if you're already just subscribed to my channel, you may want to hit the little bell icon next to my uh, channel name. And that way it'll notify you every time I upload a video so you won't miss any of these pages. And you may want to check out some of the other videos here on the screen. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.